Hello all. All the design engineers would have used uh, capacitors definitely in their applications. Um, so one among those capacitors is uh, the electrolytic capacitor which is most commonly used uh, in embedded applications. So there are many advantages, disadvantages of this electrolytic capacitor which we will discuss in this particular video. So just to talk about this electrolytic capacitor, uh, so you can see the image here. Basically this is how it looks. Uh, it is available in both the SMD form as well as uh, through hole form and uh, these capacitors basically are uh, um, polarized capacitors polarized means there is a specific polarity uh, one is positive and the other one is negative terminal and you have to use uh, um, in that specific polarity only otherwise you will if you just connect in reverse and switch on your circuit see what happens uh, within a fraction of seconds mm. and then <clears throat> one of the major advantage see why design engineers uh, uh, do use electrolytic capacitors are basically they are huge energy banks so what we mean by energy bank here is uh, um, basically um, these capacitors uh, because of their construction uh, they can be manufactured with a very high capacitance so because of such um, bulk capacitance uh, they can be used in uh, um, energy storage application energy storage we meant uh, example many of us use uh, um, this TSM GPRS modems right the 3G, 4G, 2G, all the kinds of modems we use in applications. So these modems, when they try to transmit, uh, there is um, a sudden burst of current that need to be supplied. So when such burst of current need to be supplied, uh, if there isn't a strong energy source, uh, there could be uh, a drop in the voltage. So in such cases, uh, these capacitors with such uh, high storage capability that means high, basically higher capacitance uh, uh, would help and uh, you see most of the modern designs they recommend to use uh, uh, a high capacitance uh, near their power pin so such is the extensive usage of these uh, um, capacitors uh, and uh, <coughs> most of the filtering applications and then uh, the DC link uh, uh, capacitors which are used in motor designs uh, are electrolytic capacitors. So such a vast usage um, uh, it has. So now definitely as we said these electrolytic capacitors have uh, higher uh, capacitance compared to uh, the ceramic and film capacitors. Uh, the only one problem we can say with respect to this uh, while there are several other problems which we will discuss uh, basically uh, the lifetime so while selecting the capacitor just check its lifetime at a uh, given temperature definitely it will be mentioned uh, um, at its maximum operating temperature so any electrolytic capacitor data sheet would mention that uh, so just check out and use it in your application. Um, now these capacitors basically come in three types uh, based on the uh, dielectric that is used. <coughs> uh, so basic, um, one is aluminum uh, electrolytic capacitor, other one is tantalum electrolytic capacitor and then neobium electrolytic capacitor. So these are the three different uh, electrolytic capacitors available in the market these days. Uh, while this is a enough talk uh, and uh, uh, which gives out uh, a positive impression about electrolytic capacitors, uh, um, uh, there is a saying that uh, the outer look might be good uh, by, uh, but the inner look uh, might be worse and you might not be able to handle so that's what applies to electrolytic capacitors as well so if you basically see these electrolytic capacitors one of the major disadvantages based on their 
some scripture that says that um, they have a very high effect to series resistance, which is called a ESR. So now, when there is an effective series resistance that is there, if there is a, a, a excessive ripple that is there on the line, uh, there definitely will be a voltage drop across that capacitor and uh, um, excessive heat that is being generated because of that voltage drop, which reduces the uh, electrolytic capacitor. So the major disadvantage we can say with respect to this is uh, as the temperature of this electrolytic capacitor increases, uh, the lifetime gets reduced and your MTBF of your system takes a hit. Mm. But if the application demands such high capacitance, uh, there is no other option available. Another major problem with this electrolytic capacitance is if you use it in a, a particular application, there is uh, a leakage current that is associated um, and uh, also uh, the tolerance values uh, compared to the ceramic, uh, polyester, um, ca mica capacitors, uh, these have uh, a um, higher capacitance variation that means that the tolerance uh, um, is le uh, more basically. So, <clears throat> and then um, these capacitors basically as we mentioned because of its uh, excessive voltage and heating up, the lifetime might get reduced. So, it is not preferred to use these uh, particular electrolytic capacitors uh, at uh, um, or beyond their maximum rated temperatures. So, the lifetime is always limited if you use this uh, uh, at a uh, maximum temperature of its operation. Example, if it says uh, the capacitor operates from Example my 0 to 85 degrees centigrade. Uh, so if you see the data sheet, uh, the hours at which this capacitor can be operated um, at that temperature uh, will be mentioned. So that's the lifetime and uh, um, definitely if you need to use electrolytic capacitor and if your lifetime of your capacitor is less than the lifetime of your product, then no one chose to use this. But if there is no way, um, uh, then uh, the only option is that you have to <coughs> you should not operate at, at that particular temperatures and you have, whatever the consideration you need to take for that uh, need to be taken and then as this electrolytic capacitor is a polarized capacitor um, there is a reverse voltage um, that is associated, uh, <coughs> sorry, any reverse voltage that is applied uh, shall um, damage this capacitor because um, you are applying a reverse voltage and uh, being this a polarized capacitor, there is every chance that uh, you might have, uh, you might see this capacitor burning out. Mm, so considering that scenario, it is not preferred to use electrolytic capacitor in AC applications. Uh, so, and then if you read through different uh, uh, forums, magazines, or Investors, uh, you understand that there was a phenomena, there was a scenario, we should say, uh, in the previous years, um, which is called the capacitor plague. So, what is this capacitor plague? Is um, so these electrolytic capacitors, which were used uh, in uh, the motherboards, uh, from uh, which were made from some of the vendors. Uh, uh, were burning out suddenly, causing failure, sudden uh, short circuit of the circuit basically, right? Uh, when they fail, uh, causing um, the other circuitry around it to fail because capacitor doesn't go by itself. Um, it is used in a circuit where there is a, a, a circuitry that is followed by it and this failure leads to other circuit failure as well. So there were failures that were seen um, suddenly uh, from a particular batch of capacitors uh, um, and lot of users of uh, personal computers whose motherboard has electrolytic capacitors got affected and suddenly 
they didn't knew uh, what was happening but the capacitor started burning so um, while the reasons and all are uh, not a but um, technically related one it has more of uh, uh, a business oriented one and definitely uh, the underlying problem is related to technical but why it came up is uh, some other scenario so this uh, capacitor plague um, is one terror scenario which is created among the users of electrolytic capacitors uh, um, which caused a um, uh, um, lot of uh, uh, fear to use uh, during some time and even if you ask any experienced design engineer uh, he takes a a lot of care when he tries to use these electrolyte capacitors in his uh, uh, design he does a lot of calculations and he knows uh, his mtbf would be affected mm. so there are um, lot of uh, uh, <coughs> cases which they might have seen which caused the failure of this and uh, uh, while Uh, there are advantages there are disadvantages associated with electrolytic capacitors and uh, when you use it just uh, um, use it with care hope we gave a small uh, brief of electrolytic capacitors please post if you have any questions uh, uh, and please let us know if you are looking for any specific topic please subscribe and uh, uh, like our videos thank you